Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Thursday, the 11th of August, 2022. Interesting tweet here from Dr. Phil Klotzbach. 30-day average tropical Atlantic sea surface temperatures are now in sixth place as being the warmest on record since about 1982 and are tracking near the average Atlantic hyperactive hurricane season. What does that mean? Basically that the water temperature profile itself is very favorable for us to have a very busy hurricane season. And we can see here 2010, 05, 2020, 2017, and 2016 are all in front of where we are now. And as he goes on to say that in this era here, since uh, we've been tracking this, only 2009, that was an El Nino year. We're in La Nina this year. Uh, only 2009 ended up with uh, below average activity. Everything else was well above the uh, long-term average there. 20, 2009 had an ace of 52. All the rest of the seasons in front of us had huge ace scores, and it'll be interesting to see where we end up. Remember, we are not in an El Nino, so it stands to reason that eventually the tropics are going to get quite busy, even though, as we can see here, it's not happening right now. Invest Area 97L, not going to make it right now. It is out in the open tropical Atlantic kind of lumbering along amongst the dry air and the stronger upper level winds. So that is going to be that, I do believe, for 97L. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, Howard has weakened. It is no longer a trackable tropical cyclone. It's what they call the remnants of Howard out there. And then we have another area, of, I believe this is now 90E, and uh, the E is for eastern Pacific, invest area 90E. High chance of development, of course, as all of the upward motion and favorable conditions continue to seem to be in the eastern Pacific, but at least still no threats to land from any of these systems so far. Looking at the satellite animation early this morning, we can see that uh, disorganized showers and thunderstorms scattered throughout the southeastern Pacific, uh, some in the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean generally nice and quiet, as is the southwest Atlantic. Moving on out into the tropical Atlantic, there's what's, well, I won't say what's left of 97L, the overall tropical wave and its associated energy is still there. There's just too much mid-level dry air, some stronger upper level winds, but it's really that dry air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. You can't have it. It's got to be a lot more moist than what we are seeing, and that'll probably start to change here within the next week to 10 days, already seeing some signs of that in the modeling. And of course, it follows climatology. That word climatology is so important it is there for a reason. Once we get to late August, the last third of August, we naturally expect things to get busy, and I believe they're going to do so. You can see that dry air. Those are the browns right there. This is the next five days from the uh, Zero Z GFS last night. The tropical waves are certainly there as well as they march across. Those are those areas of green. Nothing closing off just yet, but again, I think as we get towards the end of the month, there's a lot of indications out there that things are going to change. The overall pattern will become more conducive, and we should start to ramp up activity. So, you know, as they say, enjoy the quiet while it lasts. Get the time in to do some preparation if you still need to, because once we get into the latter part of the month through September and all of October, it is likely to be very busy, and we want you to make sure that you are ready for whatever happens. All right, that is it for me for today, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another version of What's Up in the Tropics also a lengthier hurricane outlook and discussion that'll come tomorrow as well as we get ready for the peak season. All right. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Again, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mark Suttoth. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.